Hello, hello, good afternoon, professor, good afternoon, classmates. So, this is a video for Flipgrid, Flipgrid that I decided to make about me and talk about who I am. So, first and foremost, my name is Andrew. I am currently a secondary mathematics education major in Miami Dade College in the School of Education. So, all about me, just to go ahead and start talking a little bit about me, myself, who I am, where I come from. Um, I am a son. I am a grandson, I am a student. These are things that, for diversity, I just identify myself as I am. I am me, I am Andrew. Um, and then first and foremost, like what I wanna address is very similarly a lot of concepts that we're gonna cover in this class, which is how to educate our English language learners. And how my experience have gotten me to be who I am today and to of course, become a mathematics educator in the future, someone who can not only cater to my mathematics students, but at the same time cater to special education students, students with disabilities and exceptionalities, and also students who are English language learners. So what I do hope to gather from this class and what's brought me to the point I am now is the fact of how I grew up. The fact that my grandmother came to this country at just the young age of 26 with my aunt who was nine years old at the time and my mother who was four to just pave a better future for them, pave a better opportunity so they can have the chance for a better life in the United States. And I feel that just that experience alone, even though it didn't involve me firsthand, has been great in drilling me and instructing me the importance of getting an education, the importance of going on ahead in life and following your heart, following your dreams. And this is just something that I live by every day, you know. It's just the future, the future belongs to those who belong to the beauty of the, like, in the beauty of their dreams. And I live by that quote every day. And I just want to go ahead and say that I used to be an ESOL student myself. I grew up mostly in the house with my grandmother when my mom was away at work, so my grandmother did not speak any English. So I had no sort of exposure to the English language. So unfortunately, when I got to kindergarten, I did have to take ESO classes, so I did go ESO level one. And it's just that I see a lot of cases where these students are often bullied in school, mistreated, not only by the students, fellow students, by their teachers, by the parents of other students, to today's society it is rough and it was rough for me as well you know sometimes you get shy you get shy to mispronounce a word to say something wrong to write something wrong um or to read something wrong in class so what i want to do as part of this class and what i hope to gather from my experiences as when i was an ESOL student and when i was growing up to get my to get here to my education being hispanic i want to be able to know how to cater to my students whether they come from a different background than I do. I don't, for me, it really doesn't matter where, who you are. Everyone to me, at least, is equal. That's my point of view. So to me, it's very important to cater to those people, learn how to use strategies, research-based strategies to educate them properly and go right ahead and jumpstart the career as they were jumpstarted for me. Anyways, guys, Thank you again for watching my video. I know that I probably dragged it out a little bit, but this is my video on going ahead and speaking about who I am, what's brought me here, and what do I hope to achieve as I go through this class and apply so I want to become a mathematics educator. What can I do to make an impact in the world as a leader in my community and at the same time influence my students to become leaders in their communities? Thank you again, you guys, for watching.